Okay, so let me break this down simply and put it into elementary form for you. When we talk about God testing us, it's not in the sense like, oh, these kids are testing my patience or him trying to trick you. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's the word test that some of you all don't like. It's kind of messing with your emotions a little bit, but I'm here to tell you God does test his people and I'm going to show it to you. See, I'm, I'm not one of those who just gives you my opinion. I'm giving you the Bible. If you can't give me the Bible back and show me where it says that he does not test that's just people, I throw it in the trash. You know, in life, there are levels. In the spiritual realm, there are also levels. In order to get to the next level, you have to show yourself worthy of receiving the next level information, the next level insight, the next level of victory, the next level of warfare that you need to overcome. So just like when you're in school, you have to take a test after you've learned information in order to make sure that you're able to apply that information as needed. Now, once you go through those tests and you pass, then you're promoted or moved to the next level. It's the same in the kingdom of God. It's not a test in a negative sense or to trick you out of something. Let's get one thing clear though. The devil does not test people. The devil's intent is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So he's not testing you. He's tempting you with sin so that he can pull you into his grips, pull you away from the kingdom, get you into condemnation, and put you in a deep, dark hole all by yourself that you feel like you can't get out of. That's what the devil is doing. He's tempting you with sin so he can steal from you, kill you, and destroy you. God is testing you to prove to yourself that you're prepared prepared to go to the next level because he wants you to make it to the next level. That's why he's teaching you things. Now, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 through 14. This is to show you what tempting is. This entire passage is a warning to us to avoid the mistakes of Israel, showing what they did as examples that we should not follow. Then he says this in verse 12, therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you will be able to bear it. Now, the word temptation here is the Greek word parasmas, which is the same word temptation as used when the devil tempted Jesus. Now, let's look at Zechariah chapter 19, verse nine. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Now the word try here is the Hebrew word bahan, which means to examine, to try, to prove or scrutinize, to test, to prove or try of gold persons the heart. Now let's look at Psalm chapter 11 verse 5. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Again, trieth. Here is the same word translated in the scripture above, which means the same as it did above, to try, to test, to prove, to examine or scrutinize. Now let's look at Job 23 verse 10. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. And again, tried, the Hebrew word bahan means to examine, to try, to prove, to scrutinize, to test. This shows that God tests his his people, not in the way that you think of the word test today. You have to look at these words in these scriptures and study to find the root word and what that word is actually translated from in the original language. See, a lot of you all are getting caught up in emotion and getting caught up in what a lot of these um, religious pastors have taught. And really they haven't taught. They are busy hooping and hollering. They're not actually teaching the Bible, but you get caught up in what they've said and you're not actually reading the Bible and studying to show yourselves approved but it's imperative in these days to study the Bible and show yourself approved he tests you to show you where you are so that you know the adjustments that you need to make in order to get to where he wants you to get to. God is not going to take you somewhere that your mentality, character, and heart won't keep you. So he has to prove these things to you and show you what you need to adjust. That is the way that God tests his people to prove them, to show them where they're at.